What is going on, everyone? The Houston Texans home opener is finally here. We've been waiting for this since we saw the schedule release. Indianapolis comes into town. The first time this Houston city gets to see head coach D'Amico Ryans, franchise rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud, and franchise defensive anchor Will Anderson Jr., the excitement is at an all-time high. Apparently, tomorrow's game is sold out. If you are going, let me know. I won't be attending the game, but me and my people will be there at the tailgate. Shout out to the Nuff Said Tailgaters. We will be there having a great time. But I need you guys to cheer like y'all have never cheered before. This is the most packed that stadium will be in the last two years. It is obvious the love for this team is back in the city of Houston at training camp. You had lines from the metal detectors all the way to the back gate just trying to get a glimpse of what this team could potentially be. This is a must win and maybe not for the team because the NFL season just started. But this is a must win for the city of Houston and Houston Texans fans. All the bull crap we've endured over the past two years. Only seven wins combined. Jack Easterby trading Brandon Cooks. The, the, the massage Watson situation. I want to be legendary. Then I want to cry. Losing DeAndre Hopkins. Man, if you want me to be real, this started all the way back when the Houston Texans were up 24 nothing on the Kansas City Chiefs and ended up blowing that game. That's where the slippery slope started for this team. But now here we are with a brand new head coach, a brand new rookie quarterback, and a brand new defensive star player. Man, I cannot wait for tomorrow. I needed it to be the loudest it's ever been. The last time I heard the Houston Texans crowd be deafening wasn't that J.J. Watt pick six against the Bengals in our first ever playoff game. I need the crowd intensity like that. This is a must win for this city, for this franchise. Man, we are going to break down this game against the Indianapolis Colts. Welcome, everyone, to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I am your host, Ruben Calvillo. I drop daily Houston, Texas content, so make sure you guys are following me on my Twitter, Instagram, TikTok for the latest Texans news rumors and updates. And if you are new here to the channel, welcome. Just hit 7K subscribers. Trying to hit 8K by week 4 or 5. Please help me get there, and thank y'all so much for watching today's video. Now, first, let's start with some breaking news. The Houston Texans have three more captains. This is from Aaron Wilson. Texans named three more team captains, Will Anderson Jr., Robert Woods, and Steven Nelson. All three of these guys had a big play in week one against the Ravens. For Will Anderson Jr., it was his first sack and consistently being in the backfield. For Robert Woods, it was multiple Third down conversions was a huge piece and got it going early with C.J. Stroud. And Steven Nelson, first INT of the season. And all three of these guys were also consistent throughout training camp. Steven Nelson had some drama early, got paid, but has played well. All three of these guys deserve that C on their chest. Now, they are in addition to the first captains, which are Lermy Tunsil, C.J. Stroud, Jalen Petrie, and Jimmy Ward. Why did the Houston Texans add three more? Well, when you go on the injury list, you'll see why. Jalen Petrie is out for tomorrow's game. Jimmy Ward is out for tomorrow's game. Your two starting safeties have not played together at all, and these were two players who you expected to be a huge part of the Houston Texans defense. There is a reason why they were the first players given that C on their chest. Your two captains on offense, Laramie Tunsil, did not practice yesterday, is questionable for tomorrow's game. And when you look way down on the list, rookie C.J. Stroud, limited practice yesterday, is questionable for tomorrow's game. Now, this is Aaron Wilson on C.J. Stroud. Per league sources, didn't do much today at practice to rest sore right throwing shoulder, but is expected to try to play against Colts. If Stroud is questionable, limited, can't go, Davis Mills will step in the game against the Colts. Davis Mills and the Mills Mafia will not just go away. It will be crazy if here's your week one starting quarterback tomorrow. But I do think C.J. Stroud is going to play. He knows how much this game means, not just for the city of Houston, but it is important for C.J. Stroud 
This is the first time he introduces himself to the city of Houston as your franchise quarterback. C.J. Stroud needs to play in week two. And if he gets a win, bro, this city is going to erupt. There is so much hope tomorrow. There's going to be so much excitement tomorrow. You need to see C.J. Stroud out there, and I think he will be. This is more from Aaron Wilson about the rest of the players being out. Texans will allow Jalen Petrie bruise lung and Jimmy Ward hip, Eric Murray and MJ Stewart to start. Meanwhile, Lermit Tunsil his knee and Neville Hugh with illness and CJ Stroud are questionable. Stroud has a right shoulder injury and was limited. I do think Lermit Tunsil plays. I also think Neville Hewitt plays. Neville Hewitt really good on special teams. But this was the injury report for the Houston Texans in tomorrow's game against the Colts. We also found out there were three more captains. Let me know how you feel about that down below. Now, starting with the Houston Texans defense versus the Colts and Anthony Richardson, there is no Jonathan Taylor. The Russian attack should not scare the Houston Texans. They were led last week by Anthony Richardson, 10 rushes, 40 yards, one tutty against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Their starting running back, Deion Jackson, only ran the ball 13 times. He got 14 yards, 1.1 yards a carry. Also fumbled the ball twice. This D-line should absolutely eat up the Colts running game, not named Anthony Richardson. Anthony Richardson, just like Lamar Jackson, very shifty, electric with the ball in their hands. Now, Anthony Richardson is a little bit more built. He's like a freight train when he comes running at you. But the Houston Texans, if they want to have success against the Colts, have to contain Anthony Richardson. Make him beat you with his arm. There was a throw chart shown last week and his performance against the Jags. Now, he threw the ball about, what, 37 times, and most of those balls went to the right. Almost majority of them, 96% of them, were thrown to the right. That's where Anthony Richardson is more comfortable with. Hopefully, the Houston Texans took note of that. But the right side, that is Derek Stingley territory. And Derek Stingley last week absolutely shut down OBJ outside of a Pass interference that I don't think was pass interference. It is going to be Derek Stingley versus the Colts' number one wide receiver, Michael Pittman Jr. And last week, he was targeted 11 times, 8 catches, 97 yards, and a tutty. This will be a true tough test for Derek Stingley, but one that I think Derek Stingley is going to win and going to win easily. Us as Houston fans, we are pushing the narrative that the Houston Texans took the right cornerback. I love me some Derrick Stingley, man. He was fantastic last week, and I expect another strong performance against Michael Pittman Jr. Outside of Michael Pittman Jr., I mean, there's really no one else who should scare you. I mean, rookie Josh Downs was targeted seven times last week, three catches for 30 yards. But this, this Colts offense, there, there's just no firepower to it. And I'm saying this, you know, as as fair as I can. I'm not trying to just say the Colts are horrible. But their two weapons are going against Derek Stingley. And Anthony Richardson is going to be going against the Houston Texans defensive line, who sacked Lamar Jackson four times. It will be their right tackle, Braden Smith, going against Will Anderson Jr. It is going to be their left tackle going against Jonathan Grenard. Jonathan Grenard. Had a strong showing in week one, a sack and two tackles for loss. With Will Anderson Jr., hey, he did have one sack, but he should have had two more. Can this Russian duo consistently and successfully get in the backfield against the Indianapolis Colts? I can't wait to see if that happens. Now, switching to the Houston Texans offense versus the Indianapolis Colts defense, man, it's going to be a tough task for our old line. That indie front seven is legit, led by DeForest Buckner. He had a sack and a defensive touchdown last week against the Jags. Quiddy Pay was consistently in the backfield, also had a sack. Their two stud linebackers, Zaire Franklin, 18 tackles, a pass defense, a forced fumble. Shaq Leonard, eight total tackles, one tackle for loss. They're going to be trying to ruin the Houston Texans offensive day. As much as we want to win this game, as much as we want the offense to be the heroes, they are trying to be the villains. They've done it many times before. Now, when I look at the current status of this offensive line, I do get a little bit worried. We are already without three starting offensive linemen. Kenyon Green, after the year, Juice Scruggs, hamstring. Hopefully, he's back by week five. 
right tackle Titus Howard, broken left hand. Hopefully he's back by week five. Now you are without potentially, potentially without starting left tackle Laramie Tunso as he has been listed as questionable for tomorrow's game. And when you saw that this offensive line last week gave up five sacks, it would have been more if C.J. Stroud broke a couple. You are a little bit worried going against the Indianapolis Colts defensive line. How is offensive coordinator Bobby Slowick going to hide the O-line's deficiencies? Also, how are you going to utilize Damian Pierce? We know it is going to be a tough day. Only ran the ball 11 times last week, averaged 3.6 yards a carry. Look, it is going to be a hard, tough game for Damian Pierce and Devin Singletary, but you need to pound the rock. Do not be, do not be afraid of this Colts D-line. Go at them. You are going to have the city, the crowd behind you. If the Houston Texans want to be successful and win the game tomorrow, you need to have a good day from Damian Pierce and Devin Singletary. You need it. Receiving-wise, Dalton Schultz needs to be involved in this game plan and involved heavily. One of the best options for the Dallas Cowboys the past three, four years, one of the best tight ends in the NFL with the Dallas Cowboys, Dalton Schultz needs to be used as such, needs to be a weapon on first, second, and third down. This is the first time the Houston Texans get to really see a heavy dose of wide receiver, rookie wide receiver Tank Dell, with Noah Brown getting on IR. Tank Dell might put on a show. He is also your number one punt returner. When the ball is in Tank Dell's hands, he is special. Also, Nico Collins, a solid game last week, 80 yards. That's wide receiver type numbers. Can you do it again against the Indianapolis Colts? There has to be a hero tomorrow for this Houston Texans offense. Is it going to be Nico Collins? Is it going to be Tank Dell? Maybe it's C.J. Stroud. Maybe he goes out there tomorrow and shows you why you took him with the number two overall pick in this draft. But this is going to be a fun game tomorrow, and I have the Houston Texans winning 17-14. to If you are going to be at the game, let me know. Enough set of tailgaters, and let's cheer our asses off, guys. For more Houston Texans content, follow me for more. Go Houston. Have a blessed day.